My name is Jennifer Puig, and I'm a teaching artist in Miami-Dade County that teaches creative movement classes, dance classes, and also yoga and mindfulness. And today I'm very, very excited to welcome you to the Arsh's new online home series called The Art of Making. The Art of Making is Adrienne's new online virtual program that everyone can join in from home, which was created specifically for art lovers of all ages and abilities, just like you. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a variety of poses, yoga poses, inspired by the book, Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrew, where we will become a variety of animals from Africa, including a butterfly breath, a giraffe pose. We will also be learning how elephants move, as well as monkeys and crickets. All you're going to need today is going to be a space to move in, comfortable clothes to move in, and you can be either barefoot or you can have socks. Yoga is always done best when you have no shoes. Are we ready? Let's begin. This is called Hello Chant, and all you have to do is repeat what I say and do what I do. Hands up. Great job, everyone. I see your hands. We begin a steady beat by placing our hands on our lap like this. One and two. And now just follow me. Hello, all. Hello, all. It's yoga time. It's yoga time. We are here. We are here to learn. Big breath. Take a big breath. Are you ready? Do it with me. Here we go. Lifting all the way up. Reach up high. Your turn. Reach up high. Good job. Hands to heart. Hands to heart. One more time. One more time. You got this. One more time, here we go. Hello all, hello all. It's yoga time, it's yoga time. We are here, we are here to learn and shine, to learn and shine. Take a big breath, are you ready? Take a big breath, here we go. Reach up high. Your turn. Hi. Good job. Hands to heart. Hands to heart. And now we start. And now we start. Wonderful. Butterfly pose. We begin by doing butterfly pose. And butterfly pose, we put our feet together. We make them kiss, making some long nice butterfly wings. We hold on to our feet and we begin to flutter. Remember to breathe in through your nose slowly and out through your mouth. In the book, Giraffes Can Dance, there are butterflies flying about. And one of the things that butterflies love the most is flowers. So we're going to imagine that there is an imaginary flower on our feet. And we're going to take a nice deep breath. We're going to roll all the way down and smell the flowers. Then we're going to come up and we're going to lift our hands and Flap our hands and arms like a butterfly. Are we ready? Here we go, butterflies. One, 
two and three. Roll your head down and smell the flowers. And we come up and we open up. <sighs> Great job, everybody. One more time. Here we go. We inhale. Smelling the flowers and exhale. <sighs> we flap our wings like a butterfly. And one more time for good luck. We smell our flowers. And we flap our wings and fly about. Today, the butterfly takes us all the way to dry land of Africa. Great job. Giraffe pose. Giraffe pose. In the book, Giraffes Can Dance, the main character is a giraffe by the name of Gerald. And Gerald is a tall, tall, tall giraffe with a very long neck. In order to do giraffe pose today, we are going to start by sitting on our knees. Join me. While you sit on the ground, I'm going to sing a little chant to see if you're watching what I'm doing. Whatever I do, you do. Here we go. Who's a go watcher, watcher, watcher? Who's a go watcher? Show me now. Ooh, growing up nice and tall, like a nice long tall giraffe, we squeeze our ears together and we interlace our fingers with our pointy finger up. Up like the giraffe. We take a nice deep breath in here. <sighs> giraffe pose. Now giraffes also love to munch on trees. We're going to bend one way and munch, 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 munch off the trees. And we're gonna bend the other way. Ooh. And we munch, 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 munch off the trees. And we come back to center. Ooh. Great job. Now Gerald is very good at standing still. Can you give it a try? Stand very, very still. Eyes big and no movement at all. Are we ready? One, two, three, freeze. Are you as good as Gerald at standing still? Now, although Gerald the giraffe is very good at standing still, he is not that very good when he runs around. Let's give it a try. He runs, 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 but then he buckles and falls to the ground. Now, Gerald also becomes very sad in this story. Later on in our class three, you will find out why. But for today's yoga pose, we're going to drop our poor giraffe's heads all the way down. <laughs> Looking like a very sad giraffe. Can you make a sad face too, like a sad giraffe? <laughs> I wonder why Gerald is so sad. We roll all the way up. And we return to our giraffe pose. Up next, we have our monkey yoga swing pose. In Africa, there's a lot of different types of monkeys and apes. And today you will be able to see at least how to do a monkey pose swing. Monkey swing pose. Are we ready? All you have to do is just like the monkey all the way down. You're going to open up your feet. You're going to drop your hands like a monkey in front. How the monkey sound? Can you give it a go? 
That's right. <laughs> Great job. By doing these sounds, we're going to begin to swing our arms from side to side. Let me hear you, monkeys. <laughs> Great job, monkeys. This is a great way to energize our body. So let's give it a try one more time. We open up our legs really nice and wide. Drop our monkey arms in front. Give it a nice monkey smile. Good job. And let's swing. Swinging side to side like a monkey. Make sure you drop your head. And now we stop. Bring your feet together by jumping them, whoop, and hands to heart. That was monkey pose. Great job, everyone. Elephant pose. Elephants have a nice long trunk in the front, and they love to take showers. So join me today as we do elephant pose. Elephant pose, we begin by opening up our feet a little wide and show me your trunks all the way in front. Ooh, interlace your fingers, pointy finger pointing towards the front and interlace your thumbs. Good job everybody. Now we're going to move forward and grab some water from the lake. And on the exhale we're going to Shower our backs with water. Let's give it a try one more time. Legs are nice and wide like a huge elephant. And we interlace our fingers in front. Pointy fingers pointing front. Interlace thumbs like this. And now we take a nice deep breath in. Grab all the water we can through the trunk. And exhale, shower. We grab water and like elephants shower your back. Great job everyone. And that is the elephant pose. Lion breath. everyone at home. What do you see that I have here in my hands? Yep, that's right. It's a tiny baby lion. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do lion breath. It's a great way to release tension and stress and to let all those sillies and yucky thoughts out. The lions in the story also love to roar. But in order to do lion, we're not going to roar. We're going to use our breath to feel as powerful as the lion. Lion pose. We begin by sitting on our knees and placing our claws by our lap. We are going to move down to the ground and we're going to smell the flowers. And then we're going to stick out our tongue, our claws go by our face. We look up to the sky and we let out an exhale like this. <sighs> Let's give it a try together. Great job. This time we're going to smell the grass. They love to hide in the grass. So when I count to three, one, two, three, move down to smell the grass. And exhale, tongue out. Just like a lion. Great job, that was scary. One more time, everyone. Remember, eyes roll up to the sky. Tongue comes out, out, out as far as you can. And claws are by your face. Here we go. One, two, three. Smell the grass. And... Great job, lions. Cricket pose. In the book, Giraffes Can Dance, there is a very wise animal 
and its name is the cricket. The cricket loves to play his violin. So we are going to bring our hands all the way in front, like this. And we're going to bring one knee in the middle of our two hands, right? Like this. And then we're going to bring our foot in the back, stretch it all the way back as much as you can. And then we bring our two hands on the inside of our legs like a cricket. We're going to lift up and grab onto our imaginary violin and we're going to make our violin sounds. Ooh. Great job, crickets! Now in yoga, whatever you do on one side, you must always do on the other. We switch our legs by bringing our hands down on the inside of our knee. We switch our legs. We place our other leg in front, in between. Extend our foot back a little bit, like this. And we bring our hands on the inside of our knees. Great job, crickets. Crickets are green and beautiful and they make the most lovely music. Pick up your imaginary violins and let's begin. Can you make your own violin song? And that was Cricket Pose. Moon Pose. The moon in yoga is done very similar to what we did for our giraffe pose. Bending one way for crescent moon and bending the other way for crescent moon. But because the moon in the book is a full moon, can you open up your arms really big like a full moon? And we're going to try to move our moons from one side to the other. Can you give it a try and do full moon pulse with me? Remember, feet together, legs together. Big moon, let's take a nice deep breath and blow it. Side, to side, and back to center. Great job, full moons. And the last yoga pose for today is going to be the dancer's pose. Great job at home, everyone. You guys are all doing great. And you have made it all the way to the last yoga pose of the day, inspired by the book, Giraffes Can't Dance. In yoga, there's a pose called dancer's pose. Can you dance? Let me see you do it. My turn. We all have our own ways to move, right? But in dance and in yoga, we all are able to do whatever we put our minds into. Let's begin. Who's a go water, water, water? Who's a go water? Show me now. Ooh. We bring our hands like a little plate by our sides. We scoop up our feet whoop, and we lift all the way up, 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 up to the sky and get ready to fly and dance in the sky, boys and girls and mommies and daddies and uncles and aunts. Our thumbs come together. Three fingers come up and we I'm doing dancer's pose, are you? Try not to wobble, slowly we come back and we shake it all off. Great job everyone. Remember, whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Let's start from the beginning. Hands to heart. Who's a go water, water, water? 
Who's a good watcher? Show me now. Ooh, little hands for scooping our foot up. Foot up on our hands. Little tiny fingers, three fingers up. We lift up, 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 and get ready to fly. Hold forward. Whoa. And keep pushing that foot in the back. Great job, everybody. Say, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Good job. Come all the way up. And it's okay if you wobble a little bit. Hands all the way up. And all the way down to your heart. You did it! Woo! Great job, everyone. Namaste. All the way to the end of our first class of the Art of Making series called We All Can Dance. Today was all about learning yoga poses based on the book Giraffes Can Dance by Giles Handry. In yoga, we always start or finish class by saying the secret code word of Namaste. Can you give it a try? Namaste. There, great job. We're going to place our hands together in our heart and today I'm going to lead you in a closing chant called Namaste. And Namaste means peace and light and love to you all. Let's get ready by crisscrossing our legs, our hands, kiss at our heart. Mwah. Sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes one moment and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. <sighs> Great job. And we begin. All you have to do is repeat after me. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Namaste, namaste is what we say. What we say, it means peace and light to you. Peace and light to you and your friends too. And your friends do Namaste Namaste Thank you so much for joining me today in this wonderful yoga adventure of the series of The Art of Making at the Adrian R Center. I hope to see you again for our class two of the series of we All Can Dance with Jennifer Puig. Again, my name is Miss Jenny, and it has been a true pleasure to be able to move and practice yoga with all of you at home. May you continue to practice, and may you continue to remember that the arts are very powerful, not just for helping you connect mind and body, but for learning about the world all around. Thank you very, very much, and namaste. Great job, everyone, and thank you so much for joining and watching another episode of The Art of Making. I hope you enjoyed moving with me as much as I did. If you like this video, please comment down below or share with your friends and family. Remember to tag us by using at artcenter and the hashtag the art of making so we can stay connected that's a wrap for today stay tuned and see you again very soon